Daddy just left with the stock trailer to go get the cows. So the kids and I are doing our evening chores. Huh. We checked on Maybelle. How's Maybelle? Good. Does she have her baby? No. Day three of serious baby watch. Nothing. Goats are in for the night. And now we're going to go check on Queenie and Piglet. They look expectant. I'm not really sure if I'm going to leave them out or put them in. Well, we got one more thing to do and then we'll go inside. Can you see? It's pitch black. You can't even see. There's Maybell. She's over there. Um, it's 10 o'clock at night. But I was just convinced that Maybell was going to have her calf tonight. So I had to come check on her one more time before I go to bed. But she's laying back down chewing her cud. So we'll see if there's anything there in the morning. One of the things that I was really looking forward to moving out here was being able to see the stars and my goodness it does not disappoint <sighs> I haven't been out at night really you know I'm just inside with the kids and doing all that but I had to come out here to check on Maybell so might as well just enjoy the the night sky while I'm at it <gasps> shoot oh there's a <laughs> <laughs> Electric wire fencing. Woo! Okay, good thing it's not on. Hi, yi yi. All right, I'm gonna go to bed. We're doing the morning chores. Mark's in Oklahoma picking up the cows. So we are all out doing chores. Gonna go see if there's a baby. Probably not. Um, get under this fence. It's off. And I had some time on my hands last night because Mark was gone. I did a little YouTube YouTube time. Watched a couple different homesteading women channels. And I'm sure I have a lot to learn from them. I really do. But to be honest, I have a little bit of a hard time watching. Because it just seems so they seem so put together. And I'm so not. <laughs> and I just, I don't know, I just wanted to put a disclaimer out there that my house is never going to look like it should be in a magazine. I'm probably going to burn the bread. You'll only see me wearing makeup if it's Sunday. But it's reality. I think Mark and I aim to show you guys the ups and the downs of everything because that's how we learn. And so... Here we go. I'm sure there'll be some ups and downs as we have morning chores. They're getting so big. Go slow. There you go. Okay, now up. Woo! <laughs> there we go. Okay. Peter back. Here, one more hand for Grace. Good job. I was moving these tires to cover up some trenches that we still had open from when we were working on the water lines in the barnyard and I just didn't want the cows falling in the holes so I had to move these tires. Oh my gosh, I did a lot of physical labor today with 30 pound baby on my back for the most part. Um, but I feel so proud of what I've accomplished today, so that's a nice feeling. I've got this area set up for the new cows. That gate will shut. Um, so all fresh bedding, all the poops gone. Okay, Grace just pooped her pants. Hey. What's that? Poop, poop, emergency poop warning? Okay, 
around here waiting for Mark to get back. He should be back any minute. Hopefully he gets back before the sun goes down. Don't really want to do this in the dark, but it'll be what it is. So we worked really hard today getting everything ready. I'm super proud. Super proud of that barn. I feel like um, if you haven't watched the Sal Saga, I'll link that below. Go check it out. Um, we were not prepared for our first group of livestock animals. Um, but we're prepared now. I feel like we learned a lot and we're ready. So I can't wait to meet these girls. Here he is. Hey. Look at that backup job. So straight. Hi cows. Hi new cows.